Hello! In this video, we will solve the equation 2 sine squared of x equals sine of x and we will find the values of x on the interval from 0 to 2 pi. So, the values of x can be 0 or greater than 0, but they have to be less than 2 pi. Now, notice that in this equation, on the left side we have sine squared of x and on the right side sine of x. So, to solve it, we will use factoring. And we will start by moving sine of x to the left. So, we will have 2 sine squared of x minus sine of x equals 0. And now, because both these terms contain sine of x, we will factor it out. And we will have sine of x times 2 sine of x minus 1 equals 0. And now we have a product, and this product is 0. So then, we will use the zero product property to set each of these factors equal to 0. So we will write that sine of x equals 0, or 2 sine of x minus 1 equals 0. Then to solve the first equation and get the values of x, we will use the unit circle. We need to find all the angles from 0 up to 2 pi where the value of sine is 0. And recall that on the unit circle, the first coordinates of each point represent the values of cosine and the second coordinates represent the values of sine. So, for this problem, we will look at the second coordinates because they represent the values of sine. Then, on the interval from 0 to 2 pi, sine is 0 when the angle is 0 or pi. So, we will write that x equals 0 and x equals pi. And we will not include 2 pi because this interval does not include 2 pi. As a side note, a bracket shows that this end point is included and a parenthesis shows that this end point is not included. Now, let's solve the second equation. Here we need to isolate sine of x on one side, therefore we will start by adding 1 to both sides. Then we will have 2 sine of x equals 1. Now we will divide both sides by 2 and we will have sine of x equals 1 over 2. And now on the unit circle, we need to find the angles where the value of sine is 1 half. And these angles are pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. So again, at these two angles, the value of sine is 1 half. Then we will write that x equals pi over 6 and x equals 5 pi over 6. Now we have these four solutions and let's write them as a solution set from the smallest to the largest. So first we will write 0, then pi over 6, then 5 pi over 6, then pi. And now the problem is completed. If you liked the video, please give me a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.